Hey, Tim Sykes, millionaire mentor and trader here with just a very simple lesson. A lot of people ask me why penny stocks? They're like hated all over the world. They're all scams. Why not do something like options or Forex or binary? Where do I begin, okay? Forex, your odds of success are atrocious. Five out of six Forex traders blow up and lose everything in their first six months. Yes, you could be profitable. Okay, there's a one in six shot, and actually most traders anywhere lose money. The problem with Forex is that you use vast amounts of leverage. So when you lose all your money, you can also go into debt, and many people do, because Forex is the biggest, most liquid market in the world. So that means you have the smartest, richest people in the world as your competitors. Big time hedge funds, very good proprietary traders who have made millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions, maybe even billions of dollars in trading. I don't wanna compete against that. And plus the markets move so fast based on news that you don't have access to, there's no edge whatsoever. The key to my success in penny stocks is that because the whole world hates on it, I'm very thankful. Only people who trade penny stocks are like degenerates. Like they think that these penny stocks are gonna be the next Microsoft. They actually believe in these stories. And I have made that mistake in the past. I once upon a time believed in a penny stock. I ignored my trading rules. I ignored being you know, very cynical. I wanted to be like a cheerleader. I wanted to be in the cool kid group once. And I lost over $500,000. So I learned the hard way not to trust penny stocks. Penny stocks should be hated if you look at them the wrong way, if you look at them like lotto picks, where you're like, oh, I'm gonna buy 10 penny stocks and maybe one out of 10 will make it. No, it's more like one out of a thousand, and those are crappy odds. The way that my successful students and I make our money is understanding that almost every penny stock will fail eventually, and yet there's enough volatility up and down to profit a little bit, made 10% here, 20%, 30% here. We don't have the competition that Forex has. Options. We had an options newsletter on Profitly. It's very difficult because you cannot cut your losses quickly. Rule number one for me in penny stocks is cut your losses quickly. If I'm wrong, I lose one, two, three, four percent. I don't let a small mistake turn into a potential big disaster. With options, it's impossible. There's not enough liquidity. So we had an options newsletter on Profitly. A lot of people were like, oh, this is great. I made like 75 grand. I made 40 grand. And then, you know, a day later or a week later, they're like, I need to cancel. And I was like, what's wrong with you? You just sent me an email. You made 75 grand. This should be the best newsletter ever. They lost 200 grand a little while later. You cannot control your losses. They move too fast. And binary, binary options are a scam, okay? They are getting outlawed in more and more countries. The companies that do binary, they're getting shut down or they're overseas. They're based in like Cyprus. They're based in these tax havens where it's very difficult to sue the company. You sign away pretty much your entire life uh, in these forms. The odds of you winning are so low. The people who do binary, you know, these binary brokers, they are laughing. They're laughing that so many people actually believe this crap. No different than casinos, except binary actually has better odds if you look at the math and the statistics. So stay away from the competition of Forex. Stay away from the ridiculously poor liquidity in options. And obviously penny stocks, many of them have bad liquidity. I only trade the most active penny stocks. I don't wanna trade a penny stock. I don't care if they have the best technology in the world, if they're only trading like five or 10,000 shares a day, it's too illiquid. And stay away from binary completely. And to those of you who are binary uh, options brokers, or if you're like the one guy who made it, God bless you. But for the majority of people, you have to recognize the ins and outs, pros and cons of each market. You know, there's always gonna be like one or two millionaires in every niche. The cool thing is that I only have a few millionaire students so far, but you have to understand, most of my students start with just a few thousand dollars. So I have a lot of people who started with 2,000 and they've made 10,000, or they started with 5,000 and they're up to like 30,000. They're not yet a millionaire, but they're growing. And you grow your accounts in penny stocks a few thousand at a time, so it takes time. I love some of these people that say, oh, Tim Sykes is a scam, he only has a few millionaire students, it's all luck. Actually, if you look at my students who study, mind you, and I have thousands of students, but only a few hundred of them actually study the video lessons. The gym membership uh, kind of logic applies with my newsletter business, where 80% of people who have a gym membership don't go to the gym. 
okay? They have the membership, they could work out, they wanna be fit, they don't put in the time and effort. Very similar with my students. A lot of people say, Tim, you have thousands of students, only a few successful ones. Only a few hundred students out of everybody bother to watch all the video lessons and DVDs. And this is not you know, the most technical video lesson, but it's useful. So I just wanna be real with you. What are the odds of you becoming my next millionaire student? It depends on how hard you study. That's what it is. There's no other uh, you know, contributor to all this. So I have some students who started with 1,000, some students who start with 10,000 or 50,000. It's about developing good habits and learning good rules. I'm much happier with students who develop good habits and they might not make that much or you, know, you can paper trade in the beginning. You don't even need to have a real account. You're just getting used to the volatility, although you don't get the whole emotional education when you're using paper money. But at least you start to learn how to take singles. The key to my success and my top students is we don't aim for home runs. We don't say this is gonna be the next penny stock turned into Microsoft because the odds of that happening are so low, we don't want that. We win 60, 65, 75% of the time aiming for singles, making 10% here, 20% here on the way up and down. The key to success in penny stocks is understanding that you can go both ways. You don't just have to bet on stocks going up. I know short selling penny stocks sounds crazy. People are like, Tim, why are you betting against stocks trading at $2 a share? Well, if the company is fundamentally worthless and it should be zero, there's still $2 a share of downside. I rarely ever hold till zero, but I don't mind shorting a stock at two and covering at like a dollar and making 50% or shorting it at two and covering it at a dollar 50 and making 25% on my money. Yes, you can short sell penny stocks. This is another question I get. Some brokers say, oh, it's illegal to short sell penny stocks and you don't need $25,000 to short sell. This is another lie. There's so many lies and so much BS out there. It pisses me off and yet I'm also grateful because my educational business is booming. All I have to do is tell you the truth and be honest about it, you know? Most traders lose. That's the reality of the industry. It doesn't matter if you're trading binary, forex, penny stocks, options, big caps. Most traders lose and most traders don't wanna tell you about it. There's a lot of non-transparent traders. They pretend to be experts. Show me every single trade. If you're gonna learn from anybody, you wanna see their entire track record. You don't wanna see some fake name, you wanna see who they are, and ideally, you see their tax returns. I post that too. I wanna show you that I've made six figures from trading pretty much every single year for the past two decades. I've never made seven figures in one year from trading. I admit it, my best year made roughly $850,000. And no, some people say, oh, you only made big money during the tech bubble. Actually, my best year was 2014. There was no tech bubble. Don't believe BS. Don't believe non-transparent traders. If someone claims to be an expert, make them prove it. Show every single trade. Don't just show me a screenshot of total profits. That's BS. There's so much fake BS on the internet, it's ridiculous. It's like the Wild West right now. The cool thing about being real in an industry full of scams is I know how to spot the scams. And hopefully I can help you avoid the scams too. If someone that you're learning from says, for any reason that they cannot show you all of their trades or all of their top students' trades, don't trust them. That's, it's that simple, you know? There's a guy named Bernie Madoff. He was once president of the NASDAQ and he was a total fraud. And that was a multi-billion dollar industry, okay? Multi-billion dollar hedge fund that he ran. These little newsletters, you have a lot of broke people, a lot of people who might've made a little money and they're pretending to be experts. Show every single trade. Trust those of us who do show every single trade and have made seven or eight figures over the past few years. We want to help. It's kind of cool to be in the business of helping students. And yes, I make more money from teaching than I do from trading. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not embarrassed. It's because I trade with a small account every year in order to teach. I want to show you how to grow a small account. I could trade with $10 million. How useful would that be for you? If I'm taking two, three, five million dollar positions, it would be irrelevant. I trade very differently with a million dollar position than I do with a $10,000 position. So I trade with a small account in order to teach. And usually I grow it by 100, 200%, almost every single year. Bull market, bear market. I can't wait for a bear market because I think a lot of these fakes are gonna be exposed. Anyways, I just wanted to answer a few of the FAQs that I get, cut through some of the BS and the lies, I'll send this video out to everybody who asked me. 
If you wanna learn from me, do it. If you have any doubts whatsoever, just don't learn. I'm not forcing you. Again, the beauty of being real is I don't need you. You need me, okay? I'm busy as, way too busy. I'm trying not to swear, I'm trying to be a better person. Um, if you wanna learn from me, do it. I would love to have you as a student, just be dedicated. Don't be like 80% of my students who say they wanna learn and then they don't even watch the videos. In order to make a lot of money, you have to study hard, okay? There's no way to cheat your way to success. You can't just fast forward through my videos. You can't put in one hour of research and not like hundreds of hours or thousands of hours. To be a true master at anything, especially trading, takes a lot of hard work. I'm willing to you know, get you there. I want more millionaire students, and I think I can cut down on your learning curve, but I can't guarantee you a million dollars. All I can do is guarantee you that I'll teach you everything that I know, and I think that it will help you. So let me know. Leave a comment just below this video if you want me to teach you. Go to my website, timothysykes.com. There's many different ways to sign up. We have many different plans. You can choose your level of dedication. Um, you know, there's not just one way to learn. You can learn part-time, you can learn full-time. Totally up to you. I'm here to help along with my team. My name is Tim Sykes and I teach people to trade stocks. I am a self-made multimillionaire. So this is the ideal trade that I'm gonna talk about. I want you guys to understand every single aspect of this trade. 